What is up guys? Welcome to a new video and you guys on my YouTube channel. You are always welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kiana for those of you who don't know. And as always, make sure you guys are signed into YouTube to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to join the notification crew. And like this video to better help this channel grow. Today I have an interior design video for you guys. This is a new series on my channel. As you guys know, most of you guys know, I have recently moved and so that means I have to do a lot of decorating in my new apartment and I decided to go with the bathroom first as my first project because I feel like the bathroom is the most simplest space in your home to redecorate. So I started here and I really love the results. I'm really happy about how everything turned out in here. My idea for this bathroom, it started out with like a few words. I was thinking spa-like, hotel vibes, upscale, luxury, all of that because this bathroom is not only the master bedroom bathroom but it is also the guest bathroom. I really wanted to give a very hotel-like, friendly, welcoming space for for our guests when our guests come here to use the bathroom. All of the items that I picked up, except for one, came from Amazon and I'm so excited to show you guys them all because I really love how they enhance the space. They elevate the space so well and I'm just honestly I'm surprised at how well everything came together. It looks so amazing. Pat myself on the back because I'm super happy that I accomplished this project. This is just the first part of this project because the bathroom's actually not finished. There's a few other things that I've been meaning to get to really elevate this space even more and give it that grand look and vibe that I'm going for. The other item that I got is from Pottery Barn. So everything else is from Amazon and then just the one other item is from Pottery Barn. Hey guys, so this is my bathroom. This is what we're working with. So I just wanted to show you guys the space and the layout that we have so that you can get a better understanding of like how everything is gonna go into the bathroom. Let me just show you guys around. Right here we have this medicine cabinet. This is the main mirror right here. This is the lighting. As you can see, it's pretty high. Right here is our Listerine and toothbrush holders and things like that. This is the sink. The sink is like a beige color. I really tried to get things that would complement this color. Over here is our toilet area. We just have, you know, toilet paper. We have some hand sanitizer that we brought from the last place. Just toilet bowl cleaner. This is the shower curtain. And as you can see, it's really short. It fit the last one that we had. But since I guess it's much taller here, we had to get a new one. You can see it's like coming off. Some of the things are coming off up there. I was going for like a Moroccan theme when I got this one, but now I'm, I wanna go for something a little bit more traditional, a little bit more clean, classy. I'm not gonna show you guys inside of the shower because there's just like shampoos and conditioners and stuff in there. This is the other door that goes to the room. This is the towel bar. And also I want to show you guys the floor. I feel like the floor is pretty spacious. So I just really wanted to show you guys the floor. Here are the cabinets, these nice wood cabinets right here with the silver. I'm really trying to go for a more elevated look, something a little bit more upscale, adding more color, definitely something more modern and just give my guests that guest experience, like a hotel experience is their guest bathroom as well. So like when people come here, I want them to not, I, I don't want it to look like we live in the bathroom and like all of our things like toothpaste and everything is just like spread all out. And you know, people come in here, they use the bathroom and wash their hands. I want them to feel like it's their home too. I'm super excited for all of the pieces that I bought to bring them into my space. I cannot wait to see how everything comes together and how the bathroom looks afterwards, so. All the items 
that I purchased, I will link in the description bar down below. So if you guys are interested in getting any of these pieces as well, feel free to check them out. The first pieces that I want to talk about are the candles. I love candles in every space of my home, in my living room, my kitchen, dining room, bedroom, bathroom, whatever, you name it. There's going to be a candle in there. I got this luxury candle. I feel like the white glass with the typography on it just looks super luxurious and it is super chic it says santorini on it and i love the smell of it it smells amazing i really wanted to add a vignette to a specific area in my bathroom when like i take like baths and stuff and i want to like really like chill vibe i like to light candles so you can see over here i got these two unscented candles they're just white pillar candles and i liked the idea of getting white pillar candles with like no candle holder because i feel like they give a really old world vibe and that was also one of the vibes that i was going for like old world but like modern you no know, like back in the day like queen elizabeth type times i also got this glass candle holder and it is so chic i love the chic vibe of it and then i also got a few dozen of these candles these white stick candles these are also unscented like this adds a really old world touch to it so really love these right here as you can see it's really basic there's nothing there i really want to add a nice gold framed antique vintage photo frame right there to really elevate this look right here this this space right here and give it a very feminine touch i really want that to kind of add some character and like to the bathroom okay so now we're gonna move on over here on this wall where the towel holder is i have this really beautiful vintage footstool and on it has all of my toiletries such as spare hand towels bar soap a ashtray to keep a lighter in it for when i want to light my candles this little bowl here this bowl actually i thought was going to be much larger than what i received as you can see it's really really tiny but my idea for this was to like put like bath salt like some epsom salt in it so that when you know i want to take a nice bath like a luxurious bath i can use this and i'll just like dash the salt into the bath i thought it was gonna be much larger but it's okay it adds a vintage like it has like a really vintage feel to it i really love this bowl and i think i'm i don't know i'm gonna keep it might move it around my house a little bit but i definitely love this idea for having a soul bowl this crystal ashtray that i got i really love the detailing of this crystal ashtray i think that this also elevates the space and it's like gives an antique type of vibe something that you would find at like your thrift store like a local thrift store for me i'm just gonna put like a cute like gold lighter in here so that i have on deck to light all of my candles when i want to you know be sexy this hand towel i love this hand towel this is for like i use this after i wash my hands and you know i dry my hands off with this towel one of the things that i really love about this towel is that it was made in turkey and that was also one of the vibes that i was going for i wanted like a vintage turkish type of style so this is what i got for that and i picked up a few of these bar soaps it came in a pack of five other two are stored away but yeah they smell really, really nice, and I feel like it adds that hotel vibe that I was talking about earlier. Like, I really love that aesthetic. That's the type of vibe that you're going to get when you're in my bathroom. But yet, my footstool area is not complete. I still want to buy a few interior design books to go underneath the footstool, just to add a more modern vibe. But I also got these really long bath towels to use for our guests, also in the space that is incomplete. I really, really want to get a towel basket for when Ian and I, when we, you know, want to take a shower and we have our towels on deck because these, I'm not going to, we're not going to use these. I'm going to keep these out on display and these are going to be like guest towels or like hand towels. We're going to use those towels as like regular hand towels, but they're mostly for decoration. And also I'm going to get a basket to keep all of our towels when we actually shower. This is a very spacious wall right here behind the mirror this is going to be another 
focal point for me i want to add a very large antique vintage frame here on this wall to also you know do the space up a little bit more because i feel like it is very basic right now and um, i really want to give it a, a more calm feminine vibe um because i feel like there is a lot of masculine pieces so i kind of want to give it a feminine vibe to offset all the masculinity so i think we should move on shower curtain i really really love the shower curtain that i got the color i believe it came in like was khaki it is this waffle knit sheeny shower curtain and i feel like it adds a very much more elevated looks we don't have like a glass shower or anything like that i really wanted to make sure the shower curtain was you know really nice because it's one of the main focal points in the bathroom and then up top i got these matte nickel shower hangers with that the details really mattered for me with the shower curtain because i didn't just want to throw anything up there really wanted to give it a very staged look i also feel like the waffle material makes the bathroom look a little bit more luxurious and it adds some more texture moving on to the more important essential parts of the bathroom i got this black foot step can it's a trash can i got it in this color this one was a little bit more expensive but it was so necessary to get a trash can one for me that had a lid because you know the bathroom trash cans can tend to get very full and just full of you know whatever and i really wanted something that was gonna like you know not smell and just look very well kept got a black plunger and toilet bowl cleaner because i felt like it was just classy still have yet to get a toilet cover to enhance this vibe over here other than that everything looks great in that area the sink is also one of my favorite parts of the bathroom mostly because of the products that i got Starting with this asap hand wash asap products are really really good they are a little bit more on the pricier side but i really really love a luxurious hand soap hand lotion and just products for bath like toilet cheese in general so i will splurge in that area i got this one this is the resurrection aromatique hand wash and it has mandarin brand rosemary leaf and cedar atlas in it and it smells it smells so bomb also from asap i also got their mouthwash and i feel like these products add a very masculine feel to the bathroom which i'm not mad about i really like it this mouthwash is bomb it has clove bud anise and spearmint leaf in it and it'll leave your breath and mouth very very fresh also in the dental hygienic department i got this toothpaste this marvelous toothpaste it is a whitening mint and this is actually a beauty hack okay ladies this toothpaste actually whitens your teeth so i got three of these toothpastes it says cool mint leaves you with a lasting taste and unforgettable freshness and this is absolutely the truth so i definitely re would recommend this product for you guys but like this also adds a very masculine touch and it's very old worldish me being the extra person that i am i actually had two of these glasses i got shot glasses for my mouthwash i like to pour my mouthwash in these glasses and and I will take my mouthwash like that. I had two of them, one for me and one for you, but I, I just dropped the other one, so I have to go out and get another one. But yeah, I got these cute glass shot glasses for my mouthwash because I'm extra. One of the pieces that I really, really love is this piece right here, this glass vessel is way bigger than what I thought it was gonna be, but I'm not mad about it. It has a long neck and it's like a belly type of glass and i really love this to add like fresh greenery here fresh flower to give it that spa like vibe really really love this um base right here because i have a big sink and i have a lot of space i really wanted to find pieces that could take up that space but not overcrowded one of the last things that I'm going to show you guys is this tissue box. I got this acrylic tissue box and these tissues that go inside. And these are just going to be for our guests when they wash their hands. If, you know, they want to take a, 
a little tissue from this tissue box then they have that but i also thought that this has a really chic vibe because of the acrylic i feel like it also just makes the bathroom look well put together the last piece that i'm gonna show you guys is my rug i love this rug so much it is a bathroom runner and it kind of you know covers the full length of the bathroom it fits in here perfectly and the look i was going for with this was a vintage turkish rug type of vibe so that's what i found on amazon and i decided to pick it up it wasn't really it wasn't expensive at all it was not a splurge so i was really happy to find that i feel like this rug in general is just the perfect rug for this bathroom i'll see you guys in my next video and if you do like this video please like this video to let me know that you want more videos like this because this is totally new to me. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Until next time.